Well, it's something that most of us have owned at one point in our lives, and soon one company will be the only ones left on the planet making them. A visit to National Audio Company in Springfield, Missouri is a trip through the past and into the future. They're making cassette tapes cranking out thousands every day. Most of their equipment was built in the 60s and 70s, their newest built in the 90s. Wow, but as you quickly learn, their product is unlike the aged equipment they're using to make it. I started here. My son, he told me, he says, uh, you don't want that job. The cassettes are going out of business. And I've been here 16 years. Well, Gaelic says they're working just with small bands that you've probably never heard of, but also big companies for films and shows that you know well, which may explain who's buying all of those tapes. The National Audio Company says they've seen a 20% increase in cassette sales every year since 2009. And yes, you can still purchase brand new cassette players on sites like eBay and Amazon. I came across the Hootie and the Blowfish tape. Oh, yeah? I, yeah. So, <laughs> you know, they're still out there. They around, are. But Popular, hard, too. Hard to find a way to play them, I think. <laughs> exactly.